Okay, so today we're going to take a look at your GCF or Greatest Common Factor investigation. Make sure you've downloaded this as a keynote from iTunes U. So I'm going to go ahead and open up mine. And so your screen should look like my screen. We're going to do the first problem together and then you'll do the rest of the problems either on your own or with a partner. Remember that this step is just to get you thinking about greatest common factor. We're actually going to stay in the editing part of Keynote. So you'll see these numbers off to the side here, the slides. That's okay that they're there. We're going to keep them there. Each problem has two slides. The first slide will show you the problem and the picture. The second slide is where you're actually going to move things around. So let's start with slide number one and reading the question. It says, George has eight pieces of candy and six apples. If he wants to put an equal amount of each item into baskets with no apples or candy left over, how many baskets can he make? So the stars here represent our candy and the circles represent our apples. And you can see that there is a total of eight stars or candy and six circles or apples. Now go ahead and sl click on slide two. <clears throat> You'll see that our picture is the same and our directions are up here at the top. The directions say, move the objects into groups. There should be an equal amount of items and no items left over. How many groups could you make? Again, we're going to do this one together. To move objects around in Keynote, tap the star so it's highlighted and then you can drag it around. Again, we want to make groups where the number of Candy and the number of apples are the same. So let's start with moving these around a little bit here. So, so far I've got one piece of candy and one apple together. Okay. Let's keep doing that. Hmm. Okay. So I've made my groups, but as you can see, I have two stars or candy, pieces of candy left over. So I need to try again. Let's try splitting these in half. Do that. If that accidentally happened, you can just copy another star. Okay, so I'm going to put four stars over here and three apples over here. And then I'm going to make a second group over here that looks the same. Aha! Uh -huh. So I can see here that I've got two different groups and I've got the same number of apples in each group, three and three, and the same number of pieces of candy in each group, four and four. So how many total groups could you make? We're going to tap here and type in an answer of two. We could make a total of two groups. Okay, so that's how you're going to do each of these investigations. The next question starts, Esteban is packing lunches. He has five pretzels and ten juice cartons. If he wants to use all the items, how many lunches can he make? The squares represent pretzels and the ovals represent juice cartons. Again, you actually work the problem out on the next slide. We have noticed that many of you have had a hard time with the last problem, so I'm adding one more slide to kind of help you with the last one. In this problem, they ask you to figure out how many groups you could make with 11 of one item and 12 of another. In order to do this, some of you are going to think, oh, there's no way to do this. Think about what numbers would go into 11 evenly. Once you've figured that out, figure out which ones of those numbers also goes into 12. That's the number that you're looking for. Hopefully that helps you out. At the very end, you have two questions to answer. What do you notice about your answers? And the hint is, what are we learning about? So you'll tap here to type your answer when you're done with the investigation. Once you've finished, please email your work to one of your math teachers.